So this video is going to be kind of a quick one on uh, just the first part in healing and sealing the gut lining uh, and really kind of raise the right bacteria so we can start to get longer lasting results. And the first thing that we're going to look at is HMOs. Uh, so this is a supplement right here. It's a prebiotic, stands for 2-fucosolactose, and it is a milk sugar. HMO stands for human milk oligosaccharide. Uh, this one is done by Lair Origin. They're actually the only company that I've seen to actually put out a good product and isolate the HMOs. Uh, but I guarantee you within the next 10 years, there's gonna be a lot of other companies following suit uh, to try to get this product out there. Because as we see is like, hey, colostrum is the best way in milk sugar that we can use to heal the gut. It is definitely going to be HMOs. This is gonna be a next step further and again, it's going to start putting you 10 years ahead because you're going to see this rapidly increase over the years. Uh, I guarantee it. Uh, so yeah, definitely support Lair Origin. They're ahead of the game uh, and they provide some good shit. Uh, really thank them as well because they put out a good product that has helped me reverse a lot of my just IBS and food sensitivities in particular. Uh, there is a protocol that we'll definitely cover after we kind of covered each supplement here. But the first one, of course, human milk oligosaccharides. Um, the reason this is important is because this is where immunity began in the gut. It makes up one third of all mother's milk. Super important for, for children. And the reason it's important is because wherever we see immunity, we see what's called glycans. Glycans are long chain sugars that are bound to a single protein. And what they do is that these milk sugars and these HMOs will start to bind to various pathogens and viruses found in the infant gut. And of course, our gut, if we start to take them. And they'll bind to E. coli, H. pylori, uh, human norovirus, all of these things that can be seen as, as threats to the infant gut. And of course, our gut currently. And what they do is that they bind to them, let them pass, and allow the antigens to do their work in the blood. So again, that's number one reason of why this is extremely important to focus on a strong immune system. Again, given a global pandemic, this is going to be a right choice. Uh, and there's also another reason too. So what we see is macrophages. Typically breaking down, it just means big eaters in the body, and they could be good or bad, right? So we want to steer them in the right direction, steer them towards an anti-inflammatory state. So to bring down inflammation, HMOs is going to be your best bet. And again, we're going to focus on two other things as well, but really what you want to focus on is bifidobacteria and acromantia. These are the two main bacteria that will help recycle each other. And if we feed bifidobacteria correctly, we will start to improve butyrate transport. Uh, we will start to improve acromantia availability in the gut. Uh, and we'll start to feed all the other bacteria that exists within us. It's a trickle down effect. Um, and if you look at probiotics, there's going to be like billions of, you know, 15 to 20 or how many different strains of bacteria. I'm not going to say it's pointless, but it should be in the hands of more skilled practitioners. And if you're going to supplement probiotics, look for the strains uh, Bifidum, Longum, Breve, and Infantis. Uh, those strains can definitely help in terms of like Crohn's, colitis, and reversing IBD. But the reason I would try to stay away from them and get it from food and prebiotics instead uh, is because you can't guarantee where these probiotics open up in the gut. And what that means is that the small intestine should always be sterile. It's not going to be a great epicenter for this massive influx of bacteria. So if the capsules start to open up in the small intestines, this is when we start to see issues like SIBO. And when we have the bacteria overgrowth in the wrong place, we start to get many different gut issues. Uh, so I would definitely, if you think you have SIBO or CIFO or whatever it is, make sure you clear that out before you start to do this. And we do have a post on that as well to kind of help start that transition process. So another reason this is super important is again, because it raises bifidobacteria levels naturally. And what we see is that kids can eat whatever the fuck they want and be super energetic uh, and just not be phased by anything, just constantly go, go, go. So bifidobacteria level and our energy levels are extremely correlated. So as we start to get older, as we age, as we take, say, antibiotic cycles, uh, as we eat junk food, bifidobacteria levels start to decline. And when this happens, we feel fatigued, we have leaky guts, uh, we have just bad skin, uh, whatever it may be, it does take the form and take the toll on our body in this case. So we want to raise bifidobacteria levels. HMOs will be one of the best ways to do so. And we'll start to notice, again, better skin health, better digestion and bowel movements. Uh, we'll start to notice higher energy and higher cognition, uh, just less brain fog in general. And it fucking works. Uh, just by taking this, you are 100% 10 years ahead of the game. 
I guarantee you that, uh, you know, people are still talking about probiotics and colostrum, uh, just in about five to 10 years, you will guarantee, I guarantee there will be everyone talking about HMOs and their importance too, um, as many companies are definitely going to follow suit. So start off with, uh, Again, HMOs, you can use this to even reverse a gluten and lactose intolerance, which we'll cover in another page. Uh, we definitely want to kind of help cycle acromantia as well. And again, I'm not doing this video to be a corporate shill. Uh, I want to do this to spread the love and the knowledge that this shit works and it will definitely get rid of most of your gut issues. Uh, start to heal butyrate transport, start to heal leaky gut. Um, and this is your first step. Um, just one last point too, the reason it's so important is because they actually help um, feed specific types of lectins. Um, and lectins are not all bad, right? So there are specific types called selectins, uh, and these can actually work to be, you know, to help the gut and to be a positive thing. But what the HMOs do is that they allow the right amount of lectins to pass through the gut. And the right amount of lectins, again, is a good thing that can help really seal the gut. Um, you know, if our gut is lower, and bifidobacteria, and that is a clear sign that we're gonna have issues digesting lectins. But if our bifidobacteria levels are high, we'll have a better increase and a better chance at digesting, you know, just phytic acid, producing more uh, phytates in general, um, and just really allowing us the enzymes and that availability to digest these things. So again, um, part one in healing the gut is HMOs. Uh, I will link that down in the bottom. Uh, their origin, where to get it. We even have a discount code for it. Again, not trying to be a corporate show, but they're fucking fantastic and it works extremely well. So hope this helps.